are people still arguing about keyboard and mouse versus controller? Of course, of course. It don't matter if it's Apex, Fortnite, X Defiant, the finals, COD, like whatever it is. If it got a gun, they're gonna argue about it on Twitter. It even has the dramatic name of Input Wars, and now we're gonna sit here and listen to my 17 cents on this debate and why it don't really make any sense. And we should be clear about one thing is really MK versus aim assist, not so much the whole controller. Because how strong aim assist is in a game usually dictates how much of a talking point it is for that game. Like an Apex is mad strong. Can't even cap. Especially if you play on like the older console, like PS4, you'd have it like stronger than they would on PC because they got more frames. So that that's how they, you know, made a little separation. But it's to the point where the COD Pro League, they are controller only. They don't even allow mouse and keyboard. And the Apex Pro scene, they had a lot of people switching the controller just like willfully, not being forced. But that's all pro stuff. Like that's like the point zero 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 one percent. Me and you, we ain't going pro. So for the rest of us, it don't really matter. So for a controller, and mouse, and keyboard. But a controller, like, yeah, you got aim assist, make it a little easier to aim, but you're limited in every other way. Like, if you have to move in a game, it's easier to do movement tech stuff on the mouse and keyboard than it is with a controller. You also get stick drift. You can't get that with the mouse. Unless you play gyro. If you're one of them, hey, bro, you got it. For the people that will, like, get aim assist on mouse and key for a certain game, y'all are just the super villains of this scenario, and we're just going to leave you to the side. But yeah, the customization and just accessibility of a mouse and keyboard, that's, like, the whole advantage of it and just the fact that the mouse uses a sensor so there's no middle point like you would have on a joystick you have like a higher ceiling with your aim but you also have a way lower floor because it's all you there is no help with it with controller like you can get something like a scuff or a uh i think it's called like a playstation edge controller that have like paddles on the back they even the playstation one you can take the door they got thumbsticks that you can just take out and you can replace it they're like 20 dollars i think but at some point maybe to this day they're out of stock so you're kind of stuck in the same scenario anyway if you have one of those right now so there's that but ideally you'd be able to buy some thumbsticks and joysticks and then just replace them when they get stick drift because maybe you were like me maybe you have one a controller that you bought and they had it out the box when i got my ps5 straight out the box stick drift I'm like and then they made me pay for shipping to send it to them to fix it i'm like bro i already paid y'all like 700 something for this bundle I'd appreciate if I just had like a functioning controller. Or if you use a PS4 controller, you can get the uh, back button attachment. It may or may not still be on Amazon. I don't know. It's been a while. But yeah, that'll get you two paddles for pretty cheap. If you want four, got you gotta spend it, bro. That's just how it go. But I really only used two, even with the scuff, I took two of them off and just only used two. So it was good for that. Especially for 20, I used that PS4 controller for a long time until I just, like on the PS5, I was using it until I just had to switch. And ultimately between the two, for most of us that aren't going pro, you know, playing comp, you can make either one work for whatever game it is. They even put Valorant on console. A game like Valorant with that CS style shooting is going to be on a controller. What it really comes down to is what you want. Do you want to have a doormat of a mouse pad? Do you want to twiddle your thumb? I would like for you to like this video, so you should just do that. But yeah, you got options. Another part of it, this is something I just thought of when I started to play mouse and key on Apex was how entertaining it is. Apex just felt more entertaining to play on mouse and key and I'm significantly worse at it on mouse and key than I am with a controller because I played it on a controller for like four years. And then I got sick of my controller having a stick drift and I just switched because yeah. But like just being able to like tap strafe and I mean, I can already super glide on a controller, but that too. Some stuff you just can't do on a controller and you get that benefit if you switch. But on the flip side, you got to learn that. With a controller, it's pretty easy to pick up and play, especially if you're someone that doesn't play all that often, then yeah, a controller might be better. And since there's no like definite answer, the argument's always going to pop up. Every time a new shooter go up, it's, it's just going to get rehashed over and over. The only like real solution is like input based matchmaking. That's what X Defiant has. So if you play on the mouse and key and you only want to play against mouse and key people, you can do that. Playing on controller on PC or on console, only controller people. You can play against controller players from both platforms, console and PC, but it's just like no MK people around you. So if that becomes a common option, we're cool. The other big argument that was pretty stupid and went on forever was the console wars, but that kind of ended. I mean, we're at a point now where people were asking the devs of Helldivers 2 to put it on Xbox so that they could have more people to fight on the planets. And then you got Game Pass on PC that if you have a PC and Xbox, it's like, why? Like just sell the Xbox at that point. And then cross play and cross progression is super common. So it's just like that, that whole thing out the window. But yeah, man, uh, all that said, let me know how long you think it will be till this 
actually is over. I think I'll have a grown kid before that happens. But something that did actually get the change in this whole conversation was the streaming platforms of like the Twitch, not like Netflix, like Twitch, Kick, YouTube, those types. I made a video about that. It's on the screen now. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.